and welcome to the Week in Forex, brought to you by Maxi Forex. Today, we'll take a look at the past week's market highlights. Last Monday, the equity markets rallied hard following the US's dismal unemployment number of 10.2%. And of course, the G20 meeting of the Board of Governors, who sent a clear message to the market that they fully support quantitative easing for as long as necessary. The dollar resumed its slide as the equity markets moved higher. Gold continued to make new highs again, although oil remains stable at just under $80 a barrel. Today, I'm joined by John Gibbons to give you an insight into the week in Forex. Welcome, John. Now, gold continues to break new highs with no signs of slowing down. What is driving this demand? Thank you, Katie. Commodities in general have been rallying since mid-year. Gold in particular is being driven by a number of factors. Number one, weak dollar. Number two, underlying concern over the recovery. Number three, and somewhat related to number two that I just mentioned, is the purchase, or should I say, stockpiling of gold by nations such as India, Sri Lanka, and as usual, China. Do you believe that this gold rush is coming to an end? I think that there's a lot of fear in the undercurrents of the market, and until the U.S. employment rate shows real signs of improvement, the concern is that things could worsen severely again. If the U.S. dollar continues to weaken until the economy rebounds, then gold may actually be viewed as cheap. So I do believe gold will remain firm for the near term. Well, you mentioned the weak U.S. dollar, but the slide seemed to pause towards the latter end of, of last week. Uh, why was that? There were two factors at play last week. Firstly, although there were a number of data releases, only a few of them were going to move the markets. Secondly, and maybe more importantly, currency levels against the dollar are at the cusps of breaching significant resistant levels. We're coming up on year end, and I'm not sure the market has enough momentum left to breach those levels. Do you believe that we are range bound for the rest of the year? Yes, I think we may see a few isolated breaks of resistance, but as I said before, I don't think that the market has enough momentum beyond that. So which are the currencies that you forecast to make these isolated breaches? The Australian dollar. It's a commodity currency. It benefits from the carry trade. And the Australian economy is showing the most signs of life of any of the G7. And um, do you think that the Swiss franc will hit dollar parity? I don't have that in my forecast to happen before year end, as things stand now. The Swiss franc has a positive correlation to gold. If these recent moves in that commodity have not pushed the franc there already, then I don't think that we'll see it before year end. Let's look at the short term now. What do you forecast the week ahead will look like? There's a fair amount of important economic data releases due out. In Japan, the Bank of Japan will announce its interest rate decision. We also have Japan GDP set to print. There are a number of CPIs and PPIs to be released in both the US and Canada. I also believe retail sales will be important this week. With globally high unemployment rate traders wanting to know, have sales started to slow? And if so, how much? And is the consumer still spending? Mm. Okay. John Gibbons, thank you very much. And thank you for watching. Remember, visit us at maxiforex.ru for Forex trading.